Hey guys, Pete here with the River Kings. Have a fun little review for you today. I'm going to be showing you rake knives. Just to give you a little background um, on me and knives, I am not a knife guy in the sense that I live and breathe and think only of knives and all the inherent properties that make knives awesome. I am a knife guy in that I know how to use a knife. Uh, I know how to use a knife very well. And for me, it's a tool. And that's about as far as it goes. If it's a $500 tool, I almost don't want to have it on me because if I lose it, that's going to hurt my feelings. If it's a tool that doesn't cost all that much money and I can keep it on me, but it performs as well as these other knives that are so expensive, that's my kind of knife. I don't abuse my knives. I use them only for cutting, not prying and that sort of thing. So, uh, and I generally keep knives for a long time, but I do not baby the knife, if that makes sense. This knife's gonna be in my pocket no matter what I do. I'm gonna pull it out no matter what the weather. I'm gonna use it to cut whatever I need to cut. And, and then I need a knife that I can sharpen again when it gets a little dull. So let me give you a little background on how I came into these knives. Uh, this company, Rake, R-U-I-K-E, -E, pronounced Rake, they contacted me and asked if they could send me a couple knives if I would do a review on them. And I told them, yes, I would do that, but that it would be, one, an honest review, and two, it would not be an immediate review, but I would uh, really put the knife through the ringer uh, because, to me, a knife is a piece of equipment that cannot fail and still be considered a good piece of equipment. So in good faith, I, I have worn this knife every day for seven months. Every mile I hiked uh, on the Wilson Creek trip we did, every mile I paddled on every canoe trip uh, up in Wisconsin, on the Namakagan, every, every other trip I've done, all my whitewater trip, that knife is in my pocket. Like I say, every single day for seven months, this knife has been in my pocket and I like it. So rake knives allowed me to choose which models I would prefer. And I got this one, uh, just looking at pictures off their website, had no idea anything about it. But this is the P852B and it's a folder. And my first impression was that, boy, that's a little bit clunky, a little bit weighty. Um, just it was bigger than I expected it to be. And I wasn't sure I was gonna like that. However, now that I've been carrying it every day, I absolutely love it. I love the size. I love how it feels in your hand. It fits my hand perfectly. The blade weight is just, it gives the knife a good balance and it opens up. It's not spring assisted, but it just has a good throw to that mechanism. You just pull that down and it pops right out. There's no wiggle in the blade either way. It does have a little slide lock. Uh, a combat folder, as they call it, will have that so that when things get a little sporty, um, no matter what you're trying to do, it won't accidentally be depressed here and then fold up on your hand. But it does have a little lock there. Um, makes you feel better about really torquing down on it or whatever you're going to be getting into with the knife. If you need a lock, it's got it. And it's very ergonomical. And my pet peeve, I don't even care anything about a knife. If I can grab this and it's loose, oh, I hate that. And it seems like about 90% of knives, this little um, pocket tab right there, whatever, it holds it in your pocket so you can grab it easy. That thing will come loose after no time at all. And I have not tightened it up. It is not loose. And that's a good start for me. They make these knives out of 14C 28N steel, which was, I believe, developed by Sandvik uh, and again, I'm not one of these crazy knife guys who's all into the metallurgy or all that kind of thing. What it does give you though is a metal that allows you to achieve a really fine edge, a, a really sharp edge without too much difficulty. And it also holds that edge fairly well. And I believe there's some other harder steels out there that are going to hold an edge better. The downside is it gets a little bit difficult to get that edge back when you lose it. So again, I don't mistreat my knives. I don't pry with the blade. I use it just for cutting. And over time, it will dull. 
So I like a blade, I can put an edge back on myself and this one sharpens up uh, pretty quick. Like I say, it's just a really good knife. I have grown to love it, not because they gave it to me, not because I was gonna review it. And I'll be honest with you, not knowing anything about the company, I didn't have a lot of high expectations coming into it. Uh, but I was very pleasantly surprised. And the price point on this knife is $50. Um, I did some looking, you can find them different places. I, I did find them also on Amazon and there'll be a link to both of these knives in the description of the video if you wanna check those out. Rake knives, that's the P852B. It's a folder and it is a wonderful pocket knife. Just sounds good too. It has a great balance and it fits my hand perfectly. Uh, covers all the bases that I need a knife for. I'm not in there just to have the most expensive knife. One thing about me, I cannot stand a serrated blade. I hate them with a passion. I will not have a knife. Uh, maybe I'll have one because people have given me a couple knives over the years. I will not carry a knife with any serration. Don't know if that means anything to you. I just cannot stand serration. If your knife is dull enough to need serration, you need to go sharpen your knife. But if I had half this blade serrated, then I would only essentially have half of the blade as a working blade. I'm gonna set this down because I could keep talking about it. Anyway, the P852B folding knife, wonderful knife, solid, no rattle, no give, no movement, no play. And I have opened this knife, I don't know how many times, uh, over the last seven months. Held up really well, keeps a good edge. The, the handle, if you can see that, is kind of milled out, so it's got a really good grip to it. Um, I just like everything about this knife, guys. Check that one out. And for knife number two, I figured since I got one folder that it would be a uh, good thing if I checked out one of their fixed blades knives. So I got them to send me the F 118 comes in a pretty nice box uh, still got the tag on there and I'll explain that in a second it's comparable in size to the P852 um, a little history on me and folding knives I prefer this because I can put it away and just have it more accessible without having to wear a belt or some other kind of thing to keep the knife in its sheath handy or something like that I do on occasion uh, Anytime I whitewater paddle, I have a knife that stays on my life jacket that I can pull down with a blunted end, but that's for a rescue situation and I'm already wearing the vest, so that works out. But for me, I just, I've, I've got a few really nice fixed blades, uh, sheath blades over the years, and I just find that I don't really like to carry them. They're just always tagging along somewhere on the outside. And um, they do have their advantages. If you love fixed blades, I completely understand because I have a few that I absolutely love. I just, I just typically don't use them as often as I do a folder. Um, but let me talk about this one. Again, this knife is, um, dare say it, this knife feels perfect in your hand. It feels so good that it almost makes me want to carry it. And again, part of it's the weight it's, it's, a, it's not so light that you don't know you have a knife in your hands, but it weights perfectly uh, right there where your finger goes. I mean, that's just, it's a perfectly weighted knife. Uh, again, it's milled out to give you a little grip. Has a nice little uh, chamfer right there. So you can get a little grip with your finger. This also is the 14C 28N steel. Um, I have not cut I cut one piece of paper with it, that's all I've cut. Um, this knife is actually gonna get engraved and sent to the winner of the knife contest, which I'll announce in a minute. But I'll have a River King logo, and then the, on one side, on the other side, the name of the contest winner. I can't say enough good things about these knives, guys. Again, these are not the most expensive knives in the world, and you could make an argument that there's knives with better steel, but the value you're getting for the price on these knives is uh, they're second to none. I would carry this knife with me on any trip that required a large fixed blade. If I was going to Alaska again, 
on a caribou hunt or something like that, I would take this knife in a second. Wouldn't even think twice. It's just a great knife. And let me show you the, the sheath it comes with. Comes with a little Kydex sheath. Slides right in there. You push this little tab and you can change the attitude of how your sheath holds on your belt or whatever you're clipping into. Good retention. A little thumb push and it comes right out. And they've got that groove for you just the way it needs to be and the angle is just right fits your hand whenever you want to pull that off of whatever you're holding it's going to do that just right so if you are like me and are not a crazed knife connoisseur who just lives and breathes this stuff you also may not have heard of this company i had not when they contacted me but i'm glad i uh, took them up on their offer i was going to give both knives away to my viewers and decided to keep this one because this this is the perfect knife for me it's just covers all my bases i love it but let's get down to it this knife is going to be given away and uh, all we need is a winner all right the contest rules are very simple no purchase necessary all you have to do is be a subscriber to the river kings youtube channel you also have to in the last six months Contact me with a river that we can paddle together in the Midwest. That's number two. Number three, you must also paddle with us on that river. And this had to happen back in 2019. So if I'll go to my auto generator here, pull up all the contestants. Oh, look, there's only one contestant. Okay, so looks like we have a winner. Iowa Matt. You covered all the bases. This is a special gift to, to Matt. Um, I told him we had something coming for him. So we had a trip back in September that uh, didn't go as planned. We kind of had to make a last minute change and literally with two days left before the trip, Iowa Matt uh, called up and said, hey, are you coming out Midwest? And he gave me a list of rivers that uh, looked perfect. And we chose the Namakog and St. Croix. And then uh, he was gracious enough to uh, meet us out there on the river and paddle with us for two or three days. And uh, that was just the coolest thing. Kind of saved our whole adventure there. I'm sure we would have done something, but I'm sure it would not have been as good as the one we did. So thanks again from the River Kings to, to you, Matt Martinson, or as he is now known, Iowa Matt, RKM, River King Matt. I will be engraving this knife for you. It'll have the River King logo on one side and Iowa Matt on the other side of the blade. Um, Welcome to the River King family, and we really do appreciate uh, what you did for us this September. But yeah, if you're interested in some knives, uh, go check out the Rake Knives. They're a great knife for the money. You won't break the bank to get a good, solid knife that's going to last you a long time. And uh, go check them out.